are perhaps the closest pictures yet filmed of the royal regalia that will bedeck Her Majesty the Queen on Coronation Day. The imperial state crown will be worn by the Queen after the crowning ceremony and on all occasions of state during her reign. Rich in pearls and jewels, the crown contains the second star of Africa cut from the Cullinan diamond. Above it is the Black Prince's ruby. In the cross pate on top of the crown is set King Edward the Confessor's sapphire. Made in 1838 for Queen Victoria, the crown was remade for King George VI. The orb of England will be placed in the Queen's left hand and the gold royal scepter in her right during the ceremony. Made for the coronation of King George IV, the jeweled sword of state is one of the most magnificent pieces of the royal regalia. A large canary diamond adorns the head of the hilt and the blade of fine Damascus steel is richly engraved. The scabbard is of dull gold, ornamented with large and small jewels, forming the emblems of England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. To anoint the sovereign, the gold eagle-shaped ampulla holds the holy oil which is poured into a gold spoon for the actual anointing. St George's golden spurs, symbols of knightly chivalry, and the sovereign's sapphire ring will be used during the ceremony, but it is the crowns themselves that above all reflect the splendour and pageantry that surrounds the coronation. The Kohenor diamond is set in the frontal cross of the Queen Mother's crown. Two of the stars of Africa adorn Queen Mary's crown, which is set throughout with diamonds and contains no coloured stones, and made of solid gold is the Prince of Wales crown. St Edward's crown, made of gold and decorated with precious jewels, it is the crown of England and will be used for the actual crowning ritual at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II.